Hello, and welcome to the step-by-step -step guide on how to complete a claim in the Summer Food Service Program. First, you will log into CMP Web and find your Sponsor Summary page. Next, you will click the Claims tab, and you will see a list of months drop down. Months with a folder next to it means that you are able to file a claim. The months that have a folder next to it also means that you indicated that you served summer meals in that month in that site information sheet that you filled out in your packet. So for this demonstration, I went in and completed a site information sheet that said that I operated in January and February, and that's why I see a folder next to those two months. So to get started with your claim, you're going to click the file folder to the left of the month, and then you will see your sites listed down below that you told us that you were operating out of for that month. You have to complete each individual claim for each site in order to complete the claim as a whole. So for Greenville Consolidated School, my first site, I'm going to click the plus sign. And the first thing it's asking me is how many operating days I um, served meals in February. So put the number of days that you provided meals for in that month or in the month that you're claiming. I'm for demonstration purposes going to say three days. In number two, first meals. These are the total number of meals that you served in that month. So total number of breakfasts, total number of lunches. So in this instance, I'm going to say 15. So I served a total of 15 breakfasts and 15 lunches. For second meals, this is where you would report your second meal served. Remember, you only get reimbursed for 2% of the first meal served. So it's very little money that you receive for second meals. If you're doing a non-congregate site, you are not allowed to do second meals. So that's just an FYI. In the next section, this particular site said that it was offering both a congregate session, section, uh, sorry, a congregate session and a non-congregate session. So what that means is that this particular site needed to keep track of the meals that were served um, in a non-congregate fashion. And that's because USDA asks us to report this number separately. It is not um, separate from your reimbursement, so you still served a total of 15 meals, but maybe, for instance, two meals were taken off-site, served non-congregate. In the next text box, you're going to tell me what days those meals were taken off-site. So for February, I'm just going to make this up. And then I'm going to hit save. Now my claim is complete for this site, and I'm going to move on to the next site. So now I'm clicking my next site. Again, demonstration, I'm just going to say operated two days, served 10 breakfasts and 10 lunches, didn't do any second meals. And then in this particular site, they did 100% of their meals non-congregate. They did not have a hybrid version where they served some meals non-congregate and others congregate, or um, some days non-congregate and others congregate. So again, it kind of auto-fills for you in section five, and this is all based on your site information sheet that you specified that you did um, all non-congregate meals. So for the specific dates, I'm just gonna make some up. And then hit save. And that will complete it. I'm gonna say exit page. And the last step, now that I've completed all of my um, site claims, you're going to go back to that claim month, the sponsor claim, and select the pencil. 
this is going to um, sum all of your meal counts together so you can see it all in one page. See it's calculated the total number of non-congregate meals, the total number of first meals served. And then you as the sponsor admin are going to say I certify this claim. Then you're going to select save. The next step is that you will have your legal agent go in to the same folder and select number 10, approve this claim. Only once the legal agent selects number 10 and hits save, will the claim be, will the claim be submitted for our approval. So you will see here, it says pending submission. That means it is not approved yet and it is not ready to be paid until you have legal agent approval. So all your legal agent has to do is go into the February or go into your claim month, the sponsor claim, select the pencil, go down to the bottom, select number 10, approve this claim and select save. And that's it. That is how you complete a claim in CNP Web. Please contact our office if you have any questions. We look forward to hearing from you. Thank you.